my hose nozzle has a cone setting and that is what 2D sonar does. It distributes the pulses in a cone angle. So now I'm going to take this hose and obviously I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to see what the cone angle looks like. So that is a great comparison to what the sonar pulses are going down towards the bottom and they bounce off the bottom and come back to the transducer and that is how your unit is going to read the signals. The older 2D dual beam technology used 20 degree and 60 degree cone angles. The 83 kilohertz is very similar to the cone angle shown earlier and it is going to be very good for shallow water because it's got a wide area of coverage. The cone representing 83 kilohertz would be the 60 degree cone angle. The jet setting would be very similar to the 200 kilohertz. And you can see that it is a strong pulsing that would work well in deep water. The 200 kilohertz would be the 20 degree cone angle. And if I want the best of both worlds in my 2D 83 and 200 kilohertz, for example, I'm going to put it on full and I get some spray to the outside of the cone angle and yet I get the more defined images using the maximum detail 200 kilohertz. The newer dual spectrum chirp uses 25 degree and 42 degree cone angles. Although I don't have a setting that really kind of matches the 42 degree cone angle of the wide mode and dual spectrum, we're going to use the flat and just imagine. So if I turn it on and I can see that it would be roughly smaller than the 60 degree cone angle. And instead of being flat, just imagine that being in a cone and that would be representative of the 42 degree cone angle. With dual spectrum chirp, the cone angles are 42 degrees and that is your wide mode. And that would be similar to the flat setting on my hose nozzle. The shower setting is comparable to the 25 degree cone angled used by the narrow mode in dual spectrum chirp. Thanks for watching and for more great information on 2D sonar, check out this video on my channel. Take care, bye for now.